In early March, Premier Kenny and I announced that a new electricity rebate was being developed to support hard-working families, farmers and businesses who saw high bills last winter. We also announced a natural gas rebate program in Budget 2022 that will protect Albertans from experiencing a gas price crisis, like what is being seen across Europe right now, and to try and prevent that from coming here next winter. We want to implement these rebates as soon as possible. However, new legislation was necessary to enable Alberta Energy to legally put these programs into action and get the rebates into the pockets of Albertans in the most fiscally responsible way. That is why today I will introduce Bill 18, the Utility Commodity Rebate Act. The bill is specifically designed to enable the electricity and natural gas rebates and provide real relief to Albertans in a number of important ways. First, Bill 18 follows through on our commitment to provide support to Albertans in these challenging times. Secondly, it allows us to move forward on electricity prices and rebates to address the high electricity prices that we've seen this past winter. This legislation is a necessary step to let us provide $50 per month for three consecutive months for a total of $150 to more than 1.9 million res residences, farms, and small businesses. And I want to be frank. This is a significant rebate coming to over 1.9 million residences, farms, and small business. Unlike the NDP's rate cap, which only applied to around half of electricity customers who were on the regulated rate option, and only applied to the energy portion of your bills, which is about 40% of your bill. Now, this $150 rebate will reach far more Albertans and provide much more meaningful relief to Albertans as well. In terms of actual spending um, and nearly uh, uh, tripling the size of the NDP rate cap program over just three months, and so just to put it in perspective, uh, we're budging $280 million over three months. The NDP support paid out $108 million in support over two years. This is in addition to the long-term affordability work that we are also pursuing, which I will touch upon in a moment. The third outcome of Bill 18 is it will allow Alberta's government to quickly respond to market changes in the marketplace. It goes without saying that we are eager to get these rebates implemented and onto Albertans bills as soon as utility retailers can do so. That is why once this legislation is passed, the necessary new regulations will be put in place uh, under the Act to enable both rebates. We will also work with utilities and regulators to apply the electricity rebate directly to eligible consumers' bills starting this summer. For too long, previous governments have pursued short-sighted or flawed policies. We are not making that same mistake. We're providing customer relief and aggressively pursuing all long-term options to keep utility costs in check. You will see this strategy play out when we table additional electricity legislation in the coming weeks aimed at increasing competition, decreasing system costs, and modernizing Alberta's electricity system.